Welcome back. It's a local gem that is tucked away right in the heart of historic St. Augustine. The Leitner Museum displays some of the best collections of fine and decorative 19th century art. And in October, one of the most exquisite exhibitions will be there. Dressing Downton, Changing Fashion for Changing Times, kicks off on October the 4th. And joining us now to talk more about it is Jennifer Jordan, is the communications and coordinator and Dressing Downton, Down, Downton Exhibition Manager. That's a title. We have tried to fit that in a little super. And also Megan Mosley is the development coordinator. Ladies, good to see you. Thanks Thank for you being for here. Thank you for having us. We're yes. so excited to be here. Well, good. <laughs> this is an exciting time for you guys. So let's talk a little bit about the museum Who for people who might not have ever been there haven't had the chance to swing by. What do you guys have? We have two really interesting things happening at the museum. It's the history of the building, which was the Alcazar Hotel built in 1888 by Henry Flagler, just about a year after he built Flagler College, which was the Ponce de Leon Hotel. So when you come into our museum, it was the state-of-the-art fitness facilities at the time. It was the trendy place to be when you were in the Gilded Age in St. Augustine because it had the world's largest indoor swimming pool at the time. It had all the state-of-the-art gymnasium equipment, the saunas, a bicycle academy, a bowling alley, tennis courts. Wow. I mean, you name it, it was there. It was the place to be. When was the building built again? 1888. 1888. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about the... the Downton. 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 Because I would keep on saying downtown, yeah, obviously. I know, I Downton uh, exhibition and why people are so en enthralled with it. The people that love the show Downton Abbey are, it's a phenomenon. I mean, it was PBS's most popular miniseries, um, and these people are just really into it. And not just the show, but this exhibition. We're the ninth and final stop on the tour, and we've done our research. The staff have gone around the country to see this exhibition at the other museums. And it is really like a cult phenomenon. These people are into this exhibition. And it's not just the exhibition. They don't just go to see the costumes in the museum. They want the full experience. They want to go to the high tea. They want to get dressed up and go. They want to go to the special event after. They want to go to the programs and the lectures. Stay at a bed and breakfast or a nice hotel. Go out to eat. They want, they want it all. So. It, they want it. And so this is a traveling exhibition. And yes. so this, you said, this is the final stop. So this is going to be a unique stop, the final stop. And some say this is going to be like any other stop they've made so far. So why, why so? Well, every stop that we went and saw, everybody do, does it differently. Um, mm -hmm. Some people have contemporary art spaces that they put the costumes in. Some people put the costumes in old house museums. What's making our place so unique is it's going to be held in the grand ballroom gallery of the museum. But our curator, Bar Barry Myers, is creating 16 rooms. So when you walk into our ballroom, you will be walking into Downton Abbey. There will be an entrance hall. There will be a dining room, a bedroom, a pantry. Um, it's going it's to be really impressive. And the part that the staff and the volunteers are most excited about is that we're pulling down all these pieces from our storage, our fourth floor storage that no one's seen, even the staff haven't seen these pieces, and they're being cleaned and restored and being part of these rooms that the costumes will be in. So we're so excited about that. Very cool. And as far as anybody coming and wanting to get tickets, it's a, it's a separate ticket just to see this, this area? Take that away. Uh, it's one ticket, and it includes general admission to the museum, so you can see all of our permanent collection and holdings, um, in addition to Dressing Downton. And because this has been such a phenomenally popular exhibit across the country, um, the tickets are timed, so you have to make an advanced timed reservation, and we do expect some times to sell out, so we're encouraging people to book their tickets online now. That's interesting because you want to make sure that you don't have a bunch of people coming, right, what, at 5 or 6 o'clock at night, mm -hmm. so this way people have a good opportunity to see a lot of things without rubbing elbows. Yeah, they'll have a good customer experience when they come. Okay, yes. and there's other things that are complementary, or compl they complement, I should say, the exhibit that's been traveling. So if someone comes, what else can they see? There's a lot of things to do at the Leitner Museum that we're planning right now, but there's also things going on in the town of St. Augustine as well that are complementing this. But what we're doing in the museum is we're having a really great opening reception. That's going to be October 3rd. We have a 12-piece authentic 1920s jazz band coming from New York. Oh, fun. Um, and we're really excited about that. And then Jessica Fellows, who's the author of all the companion books to the show Downton Abbey, and she's the niece of the show's producer, is going to be there to speak and to rub elbows with all of our guests. We're really excited about that. And then the next day is our opening day of the exhibition, but also Jessica Fellows will have two uh, lectures at Flagler College that day and a special luncheon in the solarium. We're really looking forward so to that. So if you are well. a Downton Abbey fan, you cannot miss this <laughs> opportunity. That's right. I would, I would Chance think to see so. it up close. Yes. yes. Hands on or no, can't touch anything. No. Never let it touch anything. <laughs> well, well just, just you or no. <laughs> just some it's frowned upon. <laughs> uh, what kind of, is this this exhibit and others, is this kind of uh, rejuvenated support for the Leitner and, and what kind of support are you getting 
Absolutely. Uh, on top of this. Yes, this is the biggest undertaking the museum has ever attempted, and it's been about two and a half years in the making. So we've done a lot of research, put a lot of effort into this, and it's been a wonderful opportunity to build new partnerships and reinvigorate our museum programming. So it's putting us on an entirely different level, and we can't wait to share all the changes with the public. Actually, um, 2018 will mark the museum's 70th anniversary and the Alcazar Hotel's 130th anniversary. So our goal is to keep the momentum going, and uh, we can't wait to see what's next. And it's going to be around for a while, right? So if you can't make it in October, it's going to be around for how long? Until January? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, January 7th will so be the final perfect. day. Perfect, all the way through the Night of Lights. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. how neat. Another, another excuse, if you needed one, yeah. to go to St. Augustine. That's right. There you go. <laughs> Ladies, so good to see you. Thanks for taking the time to come up to join us at the station. Thank Appreciate you so much for having, having us. Uh, dressing downtown, changing fashion for changing Downton. time starts Downton. on October 4th. Downton. 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 <laughs> I did it earlier. I said downtown. I, I was Pam. corrected twice in the commercial break. It's on the 4th and runs through <laughs> January 7th. Reserve your tickets and learn more about the event by visiting lightnermuseum.org.